just wanted to show you really quick a bit of the work that I've been doing on an application that I've built entirely myself uh, for home health pros and their scheduling dilemmas. So first things first is a simple CRM section to keep track of patients and their different scheduling needs. So, um, you know, just some easy stuff where you can, you know, uh, filter, search people by name and whatnot. So let's take a look at Ruth Ann really quick. So first things first, we're able to make her active or inactive, and that'll play a part later. We're able to delete the patient, asks us if we really want to do that, and edit her name as well as edit anything from her contact info here. Um, and also show if she can be seen on certain days. So let's say she can't be seen on Monday, Friday, or Sunday. Well, uh, if I decide, oh, you know, she actually told me she can't be seen on Sunday, which never happens. Although for our example, we can just delete her there and save once again. Um, this is a really nice feature for them. They're able to keep track of maybe some times that the patient can't be seen or a uh, patient, you know, is seen at this this spot on this day or whatever it may be. We can edit, we can delete, we can add, and so on and so forth. So uh, kind of comes some cool features. We I can go into more depth and whatnot. Uh, the deeper I want to go and the deeper the needs go for different users. Okay, uh, next thing is our scheduling portion. So um, patients, um, or excuse me, users have a really difficult time without this kind of software um, scheduling their patients. Normally they're going to be using pen and paper, writing down times in between, how long it takes to, to uh, drive in between their different patients and whatnot. So what I did is I um, wrapped up some APIs and used some different algorithms. So let's just go through this first feature, which is testing. Um, the different drive times between patients. So we'll take Charles, we'll take TJ, and we'll take, uh, let's see, let's take Jane Doe, and lastly, we'll take uh, Mary Poppins. Okay, we wanna see if there's enough time in between all these guys, and instead of having to go through them one by one, and making sure writing stuff down let's just go over to Wednesday select Wednesday and select test and now we get a response saying it is good all of these are good now what if I had moved TJ way up here and we test Wednesday again well then it's showing me Charles and TJ there's just not enough time in between to make sure I get to TJ on time at 305 so we can move things around and test again uh, if I want to delete a patient from the calendar, we, it shows a little quick thing on her, uh, her profile, and then I can remove her. Okay, uh, next thing is grouping patients. So this is going to help uh, people group or their user, the users group their patients geographically. They've got two choices when they do this, and you, well, I'll explain this here in a sec. They can either have a visits or a patients. And so I explain it here, but the patients is essentially just grouping their uh, patients geographically, whereas visits groups each individual visit geographically. So let's just take a look at patients view. Um, let's say I wanna have a patients view um, and I want only three groups. Okay, well, I've got three groups here. Um, and this just represents all of the different patients uh, that I have in their geographic groups where they're best suited. And this is a huge thing, takes up so much time for these people. Um, and then our visits side, um, we can see that we also have three groups, but these groups are a little bit bigger. And the reason is Charles Dickens, for example, has a frequency of two, he's seen twice. And that's also why they're outlined in red. So Charles, I've got to click here and I'm gonna assign him a group. So he's in group one and two. I'm gonna say, I want him to be on number two. And it's just an easier way of keeping track of where these patients are going and where they're at. Um, so anyway, uh, the, re the way I made that was through the K-means algorithm and modified it a bit to suit my, pay my user's needs. And uh, yeah, so any other questions, I'd love to field them. So give me a call or shoot me a message, thanks.